Hello everyone. Let's look into the placement and routing stage of the physical design flow. So the first step and the very important step in this particular thing is to bind the netlist with the physical cells. Okay. So what does this exactly mean? So this means that let's say we have this particular netlist with all these gates and the shape of these gates represent the functionality of these gates. Okay. So for example, for example if this is an OR gate, the shape of this OR gate determines that this functions as an OR gate. But in reality, we don't have shapes something like this. But what we have, we have shapes something like a box. So for example, you have this, you have this flip flop, okay, which is a square shape over here. It's actually a box of square shape or rectangle shape. For example, you have this knot gate, which is of some triangle and uh, and a circle over here. But in reality, it's a box. It's a, it, it has got some physical dimension. It has got a width and height. It has got some width and height of this particular cell. Similarly for this particular AND gate, if you see this is the shape, but it has got a physical view of something like this. So in reality, it is not something like this, but it is some, it is a box in internal, where this particular box will function as an AND gate. Okay, and similarly for flip-flop tube, the flip-flop tube is also a square box. Okay, so what we have done is we have taken the we have taken the uh, real we, we have taken the views of this particular thing of this particular gates and given them a physical dimension because that's what is actually present in the real world. In the real world, we don't have this kind of shapes, but we have square shapes and rectangle shapes. So we have taken these gates and given them a proper shape, a shape and size. So basically, we have given them a width and a height. Okay. Similarly, what we'll do is we'll take each and every component of this particular netlist and give them particular shape. Okay. So this is this is this particular section of uh, of the netlist. This is the third section of the netlist, and this is the final fourth section of the netlist. So each and every component of the netlist has been now given a proper width and height, a proper shape, and these blocks are already have a, uh, or they do already have a proper shape. So let's not worry about that. And now what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, we'll take these blocks and remove these wires. Let's talk about uh, let's talk a bit about uh, this particular uh, thing. So these these things are present in uh, are present in a shelf, and let's call that shelf as a library. So a library is basically a place where you will find all kind of books. These are like books, and these are like uh, different books that we have available in the library. Not only this, the library also has the that the timing information of this particular gate for example what is the delay of this particular gate what is the delay of this particular gate so all this information are present in a huge set and it's called as a library though the library can be classified into two into two uh, sub libraries one library might consist of only of the shapes and size and one library might consist only of the delay information but let's call it as a library for now Okay, so the library will have a th uh, the following information. It will have the width, height of of each and every cell. It will have the delay information of each and every cell, and plus it will have the required conditions of this particular cell. Okay, so for example, at, at what condition does the flip flop emits the output, sends the uh, sends the input to the output? At what condition? So there is something called as when condition. So all this information are present in the library. Okay, so along with along with this information, it also has various shapes of this particular so uh, of various shapes of this particular gates. So, for example, in this particular in this particular scenario, if you see this gate has got a fixed width and height, the library also provides you some options for this one. For example, there will be another option in the library of the same cell. This particular cell, this particular cell, let's say two functions as as some uh, give, give some functionality let's say it is an AND gate this two will also function as an AND gate but it will be slightly bigger in size okay and the and the and the second uh, dif uh, difference between this this particular AND gate and this AND gate and is that since it is bigger in size it will have least resistance path so it will be faster compared to this one Similarly, you have other options as well. You have even bigger cells than this one. So this is even faster than this one. It is bigger in size and faster than this one. So basically, a library has got has got various flavors of each and every cell. So let's say for this particular cell, you have three different flavors of the same cell. You have two. You have two of a bigger size, lesser delay. You have two of a even bigger size and even lesser delay. So you have various flavors of uh, of cells in your library. We can pick up what we want to based on the timing conditions and based on the available space on your floor plan okay so this was about library and we will be talking more about library more about the size shapes and more about the timing information that the library consists in a separate section let's not get into uh, those things over here 
that's just that, that's a separate video on timing so we'll be talking about uh, uh, the library constructs and everything in a separate set of videos but in general in a in a in a broader in a broader sense library consists of everything it consists of cells shapes and size of the cells various flavors of the same cells and the timing information the delay information okay so let's keep it to that level uh, uh, till now and let's move ahead so once we have done that once we have uh, given proper shapes and sizes to the uh, to each and every gates the next step is to is to take those particular shapes and sizes and place it onto the floor plan so let's see what we have till now so we have the floor plan we have a well defined floor plan with the input output ports input and output ports defined properly and placed properly we have this particular net list okay basically this is our design this is the our full design and we have a shape and size given to each and every component of this particular net list so we have the physical view of the logic gates and we have this particular floor plan the next step is to place this netlist onto this particular floor plan and how do we do it let's look into that okay so now now this netlist doesn't comes into picture but this is what comes into picture though though we have we have to follow the connectivity information from the netlist but we have to take this one if in a, in the case of physical design placement okay so let's do that so this is our floor plan and this is the pre placed cells that we already had from from the previous slides okay so let's keep it so these steps are done in the floor plan stage so the placement stage the stage where we do the placement that will make sure that the that this particular locations are not are not affected they are not moved they are kept as it is the, the, and, and the second thing that it will take care of that there will be no cells that will be placed in this area okay so these two things will we have to take care let's move on with the placement step so you have this this particular netlist and we have to take the physical view of this particular netlist and place it over here for example we'll take this let's say we'll take this first section so if you see this flip flop one is close to input port d in one flip flop two is close to d out one okay so let's place it in that fashion so you have flip flop one which is placed close to d in one you have flip flop two which is placed close to d out one okay and you have this commercial cells which is placed close to flip flop one and flip flop two so let's do that okay so you have this particular combinational cell which is placed close to flip flop 1 we have this combinational cell which is placed close to flip flop 2 so if you see logical connectivity is being maintained and since this particular section of the circuit interacts with d in 1 and d out 1 they are being placed close to wherever they are because if let's say if let's say d out 1 was over here and if we had placed flip flop 2 somewhere over here then the timing then, then the time required for this flip flop 2 to communicate with its own d out 1 would have been huge so we have been taking care of that particular of that particular thing of that particular huge delay in the placement stage itself by placing the flip flop 2 close to d out 1 as far as possible okay similarly we will we'll be doing for the next stage also so let's say we have this particular section d out 1 d in 1 flip flop 1 flip flop 2 d out 2 so we have taken this particular this particular section and placed it over here we have we have put flip flop one over here and placed it close to d into not exactly close to but there are some reasons why we placed it close to flip flop one i'll we will come to that in some time from now okay flip flop two is being placed close to d out two and there is a there is a there is a peculiar case over here where we have abutted the cells the combinational cells so now if you see the delay between flip flop one and one will be very minimal the delay between 1 and 2 will be minimal similarly between 2 and ff2 it will be very minimal okay so we have done this on uh, due to some reasons and we will be coming to those reasons in some time from now so what we'll do is since we have already placed two sections of the logic and i'm already running out of time we need uh, some more amount of discussions for this section and this section and the other and the other place where we have uh, where we are identifying the reasons why we have placed d into in in such a huge distance and how do we place the remaining one so let's try to cover all of them in the next video thank you